the AD9850DDS chip. Um, this thing is fantastic. You can find dev boards that look sort of like this all over the internet, ranging from a few bucks if you don't mind really slow shipping to you know 25 bucks if you want to get them off of Amazon Prime. Now DDS stands for direct digital synthesis, um, which means you can program these things to just generate functions like sine waves. Uh, and, and I mean, and, and the range that you can do these over up to like 40 megahertz or something is pretty crazy. The um, even like the data sheet and the documentation can sometimes be really confusing. If you look at it, it says it almost has like two outputs. That's not really true. They have actually only one. Um, so if you want to generate two sine waves, let's say, and they have maybe a fixed, like identical frequency, but their phase is slightly different, it's impossible with just one chip, and you need to actually have two of them. And so you can go and buy two, but even then, um, you can actually run into an interesting problem where, um, because they're running off of different uh, crystal oscillators, what they think is, like, let's say you want it to run at 20 kilohertz, what they think is 20 kilohertz, the two of them, will be slightly different um, in real time. And so if you compare the two, you'll actually get really, um, depending on what you have, you know, slight or very quick drifts. So in this first video is two um, 89850 dev boards, like just cheap ones I bought for 10 bucks a piece, and they're run together right now, both at, I, I think I did 30 kilohertz here or something, uh, and you can see actually they're drifting slightly. Um, so if you wanted to have a, keep a constant phase difference between them, it wouldn't work. This is another set right here. Um, this one's actually even worse than the, the pair before. And so the solution to working with these is to actually go in and um, what I just simply did was pulled the oscillator off of one chip and then ran really crappy wires over to the other so that they're basically linked. And this is exactly what the you know data sheet or design note that analog devices produces uh, recommends. Um, and you can see once you do that, then um, you can actually tell them to uh, use identical, you know, like say here we again are running both 30 kilohertz, and they actually will keep a uh, that frequency and they won't drift. Um, there will be no like long-term drift between the two. And I have tested these for several hours and they don't change, which is really nice.